everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we've got another Degusta Box review. We love Degusta Box a lot. They're awesome. Thank you to the guys at Degusta Box for continuing to support us and help me to help you, really, to help them by sending us these boxes. We appreciate it. <laughs> That's completely cut in the wrong area. In fact, I've sliced my entire hand off. No, I haven't. I've just put it in my... <laughs> That's better. I still fucked up actually. Wow, interesting. Anyway, use code Z02DE, or no, sorry, ZO2DE to get a £7 discount. I might have said that wrong actually. Whatever it is, it's on screen right now. So, this is the February box. And yeah, Degusta box, I'd say these are probably the best subscription boxes. Uh, equally, equal excitement with Munch Pack because Munch Pack can tend to have a few more weird and interesting, exciting things that I've never seen before because it's a bit more worldwide. Uh, this is UK based, but you get more. Uh, it's the best value one by far, uh, and yeah, good. All right, God, I'm so hungry, guys. I'm cooking chili con carne right now as well. So that's cool. Right, what have we got in here? We've got a. Papa, oh, that's Emily Blunt there on some kind of magazine leaflet. Uh, we'll look that at, at the end. Oh, this is interesting. We've got a repeat product, guys. Chase's cider vinegar popcorn. Not my thing at all. I hate vinegar. So, um, plus we've had that before. Oh, there's something good in here, though. Right, we've got Kabuto rice noodles, vegetable laxa. That's a good brand. We have reviewed them before. So I'll probably have that at work, actually. So that's nice. Ooh. Let's check this big bottle that we've got wrapped up in... Oh my god, it's Blossom Hill, guys. Have we got some wine? Hi, we got some wine. We have got some fruity, bubbly, hints of elderflower wine. Bloody hell, look at that. Bottle of wine. I don't, we don't really drink either, so I'll probably use that for cooking. Oh, dark chocolate Americano is perfect with coffee. Coffee beans in delicious dark chocolate. That's all right, isn't it? That'll do, Pep. We've got some no added sugar Heinz baked beans. Couple of cans from the looks of it. Yeah, no added sugar baked beans. That's alright, that's alright. Ooh, hello. Dark chocolate coated banana chips. They look alright. We seem to be going worldwide today, actually. So, ah, this is UK based. No, we've actually gone worldwide today. We've got some foreign products. Claire will be happy about that. We buy this. We actually buy this. This is a good product. Wow. Claire will be very happy about that. We've got a Diablo no added sugar cream filled milk chocolate wafer. It might look healthy, but there's red bits. Peppermint pepper smith dental chewing gum as opposed to non-dental chewing gum. There's a second packet that is mints. This is the one that did interest me. Uh, cold press fruity greens juice. Uh, not the most appetising colour, but it should be nice. Cold press is cold press apple juice is incredible. I've actually got enough cold press product in the fridge to review. Uh, this one has got fruit and vegetable, apple, celery, banana, kiwi, kale, spinach, lime. Sounds really weird. I can't review that. I would review that now, but it's not been refrigerated, guys. It would be reckless. We got Willy's um, apple cider vinegar. Yeah, we got apple cider vinegar there. Quick, check on dinner. Make sure it's not burning. Right, we've got a couple of um, couple more water products or liquid. Yay! Just be. Charlie Fleming reviewed this the other day, and he said, "Fuck off." Charlie Fleming reviewed this the other day, and he said that blueberry was the best flavour. So, yeah, that's cool. And, what's the other mystery bottle? Premium mixer. Double Dutch. Pomegranate and basil. Wow. That sounds awesome. I might even try that with some alcohol, guys. How about that? Right, we've got a few products left. We've got Candy Crush. Mixed fruit flavour soft candy. I might do that as the review that we do in this episode. And, OMG, cheesecake flavour jelly gum. Wow. Wow, cheesecake flavour pack, 
Chase Flake Flavor Jelly Gum. That is it. Uh, that is another excellent box. Not upset at all by that. There's some brilliant products in there. Superb stuff from uh, Digo. In fact, I'd say that's maybe even one of the better ones. There's brands in here that we actually buy that we like and that are great. So yeah, this is good. Right, let's try the, uh, the uh, Candy Crush Gums, which appear to be from another country, maybe. See what we got. Ooh, wow, guys. <sighs> smell, they smell very fake, but quite, quite fruity. There's lots of different kinds of candy in here. Ooh, ooh, not sure how well they've survived the journey. They're a bit wet, a bit sticky. Here we go. So this, this one's like a pencil. Mm. Yeah, quite a cheap tasting pencil, but fruity, vaguely blueberryish. Vaguely. Got like a crescent moon. Quite hard gummy. When I say hard, soft. But like dense. Mmm. Wow. That was a really good flavour. Really good flavour. I'm gonna risk it guys. I'm gonna have this and it might be lemon flavour and I don't really like lemon flavour candy. Oh. It's just like nothing flavour. Let's try one of these weird little things. Like a thimble. What thimble? Quite an odd little bag of candy, actually, to be honest. Uh, so that's alright, I get out three stars. Mm. So that's a review of the episode done. Really, really, really good box. As I say, one of the better ones, if not the best. Is it the best? I don't know, it's hard to keep track, but that is that is one that's really impressed me. There's some really cool stuff in there. And I look forward to trying more. Check, check out the reviews that we're going to do for some of these products, so subscribe. Keep an eye out on your inbox, press the bell button to get notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for all the support and subscribe for more videos. Goodbye.